Next question is think in a case that you got this job. You have this job now. Now tell me uh, what all the goals will you have in your mind. So are you clear? Can you set an objective right now? So uh, tell the goals that you want to set up. If you don't have any idea, then don't panic and answer them that uh, you will try to give the best. Right Now this is uh, uh, one way of looking at it. I will first set up in good environment, good working environment, good relationship with my colleague, uh, my teammates, understand the working pattern, life and the, uh, then I will know the rules right, and regulations of working style. I would like to comply by them all. Uh, these will be my first priority and then I will know about important personalities of the organization. Organization way to approach my objective on my capacity. Okay, the next question is, this is 29th. Which was the most satisfied goal of yours in your previous environment? Uh, when you set up some goals, you should be able to achieve them. There must be many things in your life which you have set off achieving them and finally achieved. Tell those goals and the success story to the interviewer. For example, how could you phrase it, how Naveen has done it. I have set up a goal of acquiring 80% of on an aggregate of my 4 years and I succeeded in that. Which is my best ever goal till now. Now the rest all though I have set up and succeeded, this gives me the most happy point of my life. Now, whatever that you have done, right, whatever you have scored, be it academic, scholastic or co-scholastic for that matter, sports, music, anywhere that you have done good, I think this is the time to showcase that and do it very, very emphatically. Be proud of it and when you state it, maybe take a pride of, you know, uh, smiling and, you know, shoulders high and maybe with your chin high and talking about it. Question number 30. Did you face any trouble in coming up over here in this position? Well educated and getting jobs in one of the multinational companies? You have any such in your life? So I'm sure many of us must have faced many hurdles throughout our education. Maybe life or anything for that matter. If you really have any such uh, then please explain it out. If not then explain about your peaceful journey of education and career and maybe life associated with it. Right now, how Naveen does it is no, I don't have much hurdles in my life regarding the education or career or a personal life. It was a little simple and painless path. I had to go under stress for only a few days, and that too after intermediate because of my some family issues. Rest that I know of, I had a peaceful life in my career. So, non complaining at the same time, very resilient. And in case if there is a coarse side towards life, I think you need to explain it on a very, very soft way. Have you undergone any such situations where you have been challenged? Challenging positions, things or work is such a place you cannot easily work on or move on. But still, you have to do it. So just think about such situations in your life where you are challenged and succeeded. The Sachar is asking you of the most you know, challenging time or an objective or a hurdle or a task that you have you might have achieved or overcome. How Naveen does it? Is no. Was never challenged for any such position for things in my life. I expect it to happen in my future. But as of now, no such situations. So he's categorically, you know, ruling it out, stating that no, I haven't faced, but I definitely see there will be few things coming in the future. So I'm absolutely prepared and I would like to sound confident because it is going to come. So how hopeful, how assertive an answer can be, I think Naveen has shown once again. Next is 32. Was there any situation which highlighted your spoken skills, which you are focusing on some point that have to be done? This question is meant to know about your spoken or communication skills in a mass or in any group of people where your skills are respected. Explain about them with any of the situations in your life that you might have come across. And how Naveen does it is I don't think I got such an opportunity to uh, get things around my word 
but there are few situations where when i started speaking then audience became silent and have their ears on my words this will be mostly when i start giving a seminar or even in some of the fun activities so uh, he has is also showcasing where he has exhibited such a skill right so he is not a technologically driven he is also a, 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 a material to be looked at uh, when it comes to seminar or maybe public speaking or any fun activities you know off sites next question would be explaining things to other people or the higher level people is an easy task or a difficult task for you so when it comes to delegation taking or maybe giving how difficult it is for you to maybe explain it to your junior seniors or the same level again this question is also meant to know about your spoken communication skills in a mass or in any group of people that you mingle with and also in explaining thing that you you know to others so it's more of communication skills and expressing it to one or many how uh, navin has done it is i'm pretty good in explaining things that may be to a higher authority person or the beginner or or even of the same level i have an idea of how to explain the things basing on the level of their understanding so it's it's purely based on what the others level of understanding is i i quickly you know gather it i am able to understand it and i am able to deliver the same level of communication be it any level that i am operating with next question is uh, 34th brief on the most important written document or a presentation or any report which you have prepared or completed and submitted it written documents can be anything of subject related or project related or even about the presentations that you might have done in, in your past which you prepare in the college days school days or any uh, you know forum that you are part of any college clubs that uh, that you are part of those are important in knowing your presentation skills so outright presentation skills so how navin does is written documents in the sense we prepared our project reports in complete blind book format in our last semester of engineering that report contains all the information which is useful with the project for that report alone we are being appraised on the work other than that the presentation which i give are self prepared and they are of many in number some of them are even certified again i'm telling you is that think about the approaches do not think about the answers directly think frame it in your mind and then come out with the right temperament attitude to give the answers 35th will be describe any example of yours on communication skills to a person who doesn't like you personally so what a question the question itself makes you understand that it is not about your communication skills but it is uh, time now to to see that it is about your behavior it is how you understand of the uh, of personality traits of others and how you are able to you know carry yourself well in uh, during such situation or countering such people in your lives right so how navin does it is uh, this i had to face many times which is a reality i don't know it's it's a reality for all of us i don't know why but my lecturer not used to like me so when the time came for explaining my project to my lecturer she was not impressed with the topic the topic that i have selected for so she had many refusals for my project i patiently solved all those troubles which she mentioned answered all the questions which she threw at me in a very polite subtle and i finally got my project approved for submission in this more than my subject knowledge my communication skills played important role and more than that understanding of personality also made me to realize that there will be certainly those many people i need to handle them i need to manage them and i need to very well control the situation not keeping people in mind but keeping the agenda that i am associated with the people in mind next question is again uh, all the case studies coming now uh, 36 as you are a player and all you must have faced this type of situation where the team would not obey your words and will not work well together how did you manage such teams generally these types of questions are asked to know about your team player you know that attitude have a team leader role 
once they take you into their organization how will you behave with such a team which doesn't listen to you or which doesn't work well even under your guidance there should be a proper way of answering this question the answer can also be like what navin did i faced such a situation when a new cricket team has formed up with new players there used to be few players who had their own timings rules regulations and maybe inclination and strengths and weaknesses when it comes to a match we always used to have a trouble with those typical guys so what i did is i spoke to them once explained them all the rules regulations and way of playing on the field in critical situation and so on and then on whenever they used to repeat their mischief a typical attitude i used to report the same to a coach and he used to handle those guys this way i somehow controlled our team discipline and togetherness navin well said